Come on. What? You heard what Hagrid said. Follow the spiders. <laughs> and into the dark forest. Wait, spiders. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? And on today's exciting episode of Have a Knife Day with Mr. Rexy, we're going to continue with our Along a Came a Spider series. That's right. I'm Lawrence Welk. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a picture of a PM2 here. Okay. Uh, that's just a photo I took. You know, there are many spider codes, uh, but this one is mine, blah, blah, blah. So that's what a spider code PM2 can look like. But now let's take a look at mine. So if you notice, this one is just a little bit different. <laughs> We got the vest serrations. We got a five by five combat tactical classic pickpocket. Pickpocket. I think it makes it look like a dinosaur, like a triceratops. This is my third video because my camera updated and I lost everything. Thank you. Thanks, Apple. Thanks for losing everything. And now that I have that done, triceratops. There's the horn. Of course. This is an Emerson wave-like device. It can act as a blade catch if you're over there knife fighting. <laughs> Don't recommend it unless you're going to get cut. Uh, but this does is it grabs your pocket and acts as a mechanical, mechanical opening when you pull it out and it engages the blade. Pretty cool. I uh, have not upgraded the pocket clip on this, unfortunately. And here is a really cool bead from Etsy. I do believe this comes, this is a takeoff of the full metal jacket, uh, Born to Kill, Vietnam style steel pot helmet and a skull. Etsy, it has a lot of cool stuff. So back to this, this comes, these blade scales come from bladescales.com. Now, mind you, I do not have any sponsorships, but hey, bladeskills.com, if you want to, feel free. Thank you. So this is Groove Coyote Brown G10, and it's really nice. It, it's very, very grippy, and uh, needless to say, it um, definitely makes it look unique. So we push here, and look at that closing. Oh, how nice. Once again, pop goes the blade, pop goes the spider. So this is my first one. But wait, there's more. Okay, now, sorry about that. So this one comes from our good friend from Russia, Aramis Akhmadov. Akhmadov. I'm sorry, Aramis. I, I know, I know. But here it is. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that detail. It looks like Damascus. Each side. Ooh, there's that deep carry pocket clip from MXG Gear. So this is a 3D classic Damascus gold carbon fiber brass. Now, mind you, this is not really gold. It's brass. Isn't that gorgeous? And you're shocked. I know, no vepsurations, right? Pretty darn cool. Put this over here. But wait. Another one from Aramis. Check out this carbon fiber. The belt clip, the scales, everything. Once again, right back to the VEF serrations. Fantastic, a little bead. That's a uh, brass, no, that's copper. I think it's copper. Getting a little personality to it. Come over and clean it off in a little while. Very toothy, very aggressive, good looking, kind of like me. Nah, it's okay. So here is another one. I do believe this either comes from Shepherd Custom Creations or from Aramis. I've had this for a long time and I've lost an email. So this is OD Green. Peel ply G10 with a nice skeletonized deep carry. I'm shaking the camera clip <laughs> and check out this bead. 
Once again, Etsy, watch. Hel hello, I am your friend. Oh, that's right, it has an articulated mouth. What more could you want? Check this one out. Once again, best serrations. Now you might be asking me, well, Mr. Rexu, how, what is the difference in size between the PM2 and the military? Of course, I did a video the last time on the military, but there you go. This one is a linear lock, and this one is what I'm gonna be telling you here in a minute. But I, I really wonder why they went for a linear lock compared to there, but uh, I wonder if it just it's just easier to do in a military environment, which this was designed for, yada, yada, yada. So there you go. Put that one right there. Put this one right here. And now, what we have here, this is a Blade HQ exclusive. This is their Tonto that came out in 2020. Isn't that nice looking? That is the Blue Titanium MXG gear. I am going to be putting up pictures of the website so you can take a look at them. I'm going to put links there also. I want to give you as many options as possible for just the joy, the fun, of coming out and modding your knives to make them, you know, more particular to you, a little customized. Kind of, these knives are kind of like cars. We have a lot of custom cars here in California. It's because we don't have a lot of snow with salt. And if you've seen some of these car shows like I have, people have tricked their cars out. They're fantastic, works of art. We can do the same thing with our PM2s. I'm going to do a little reading for you. And I will be right back. Okay, as you can tell, I'm going to give you the specs for the standard PM2. An overall length of 8.28 inches. The blade length is 3.44. Cutting edge is 3 inches. Blade thickness 0.14. With the blade material of CPM S30V. Blade style clip point. Black grind, black finish, yeah, pretty much. That's how I roll. Edge type plain, but not ever, not anymore on a lot of these, not mine. Handle thickness 4.81, blade handle thickness 0.46, G10 and some other things. Frame liner, stainless steel, weight 3.75 inches, uh, carry, Right hand, left hand, tip down, tip up. Not on some of these modded ones, mind you. Uh, knife type manual, thumb hole. The spider lives in the hole. There you go. It has a compression lock, except for this one, of course. The military is a linear lock. And it is made in the USA. We need to do more of that. Now... Here is the thing. The handles for this are the same for these. It has the same handle. Everything is the same except for the blade. So go ahead and get those aftermarket uh, handles, uh, clips, yada, 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 to your heart's content. Okay. And what they wanted us to know is instead of just chopping the tip off, like a circumcision, and calling it good, Spider Go designed the perfect Tonto for the PM2. Stop it. The blade starts with a stout blade stock that gets a hollow grind on the primary edge and then off to a flat grinder for the secondary edge and the swedge. The result is a blade that can both take a beating and perform delicate work. While the blade is new, the handle is identical to the original PM2 and all scales compatible with the original PM2 are compatible with this one. That's fantastic. So, what do you think? I think these things are neat. 
this, uh, I, I have a lot of PM2s. <laughs> do, I, do I feel the necessity of getting any more after this one? Uh, maybe one more. Maybe if there's a set of scales out there that catch the eye. You know how it goes. I'm only going to buy one more knife. <laughs> you lie to yourself. So, uh, now for the vet serrations. I'm going to put up a little, a little thing here on how to send something in to Mr. Beth. Now, Beth serrations. The only company able to put in serrations on production knives is CRKT. But you can send in a knife, take pictures of it, send it to Mr. Beff in an email, and you too can have Beth serrations on your knives. One, two, three, seven, the whole thing. Not at all as much or as little as you want. That's what freedom is. Okay. And all the other things I'm going to stick at the end along with, you know, more information uh, in the descriptions, etc., etc., etc. Hey, it's a blustery day out here. It took me, this is my third time as a charm video because of the updates, yada, yada, yada. And all I have to do is say thank you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm doing this for the love of the hobby. I wish I could get together with you all someday at one of these knife shows. We can all talk about knives, what we like, what we don't like, what we wish that other companies, you know, like Spyderco, hey, Spyderco, make this. Hey, Spyderco, bring this back, and maybe someday they'll actually listen to us. Now, we can't always get what we want from the company, but that's why we have this, the, the aftermarket stuff. So have fun with it. And as always, have a nice day.